everyone, my name is Welcome back to Vixen's Victorious. Uh, I haven't uploaded in the past few weeks because I've been feeling ill. Uh, but today, this week, I'm going to give you the quad series review. Finally. Um, so let's get into it. So our first match was against the Silver Ferns, which I was honestly really nervous about since we lost the uh, Constellation Cup uh, last time against them. Uh, so it was all sort of... Always nerve wracking. Um, it's New Zealand. It's always a good rivalry, and you always want to run that rivalry and dominate that rivalry. So, definitely a lot to play for. Uh, we put the pressure on early and got on top. Uh, we got an early lead in the first quarter. Uh, New Zealand made a lot of errors in their attacking line, and as a result, uh, we were able to just have more control of the ball and get more possession. And that gave us more time to dominate. Uh, in the second quarter, um, New Zealand did come a bit more alive. Uh, but Australia was just able to keep control the whole time. The game became more intense with the changes that New Zealand made. Uh, in the third quarter, we put the pressure on and denied New Zealand their first goal in the first quarter. Australia were just making less mistakes and we just looked more settled and Australia just handled the New Zealand pressure very well from what I saw. It was all very good. In the fourth quarter, New Zealand did gain a little bit of momentum. The fourth quarter was the only quarter we lost, uh, but we still won nonetheless. The fourth quarter is what I kind of expected the other uh, three quarters to be. Uh, but the stats for that match, uh, sh shooting... We got 90%, uh, they got 80 Time possession, we had uh, 54%, they had 46%. Intercepts, we had 4, they had 7. Uh, rebounds, we had 7, they had 3. Penalties, we had 51, they had 61. Turnovers, we had 21, they had 26. Uh, so obviously we're just more accurate and just made less errors on the day. The second game was against South Africa. Uh, in the first quarter, it was definitely a closer first quarter than the New Zealand match. It was kind of what I expected the New Zealand match to look like a bit more. Uh, we were slightly less accurate uh, and had more opportunities. South Africa were just like, you know, did, were like short and sharp passes, which is always really hard to defend. There's like not a lot of like um, room for error, as like if you were to just have long balls, there's always time to intercept. But yeah, it was definitely good intensity from both teams. Uh, in the second quarter, uh, South Africa made changes. Uh, we got the first goal of the quarter off of South Africa's center pass, which is always, always nice. It's always uh, very satisfying to see. Uh, momentum kept on shifting, uh, but Australia was always able to capitalize uh, of South Africa's misses, which is probably what got us in front in the first place. In the third quarter, we started for all and was able to extend the lead. Uh, we looked more settled and um, we punished all of South Africa's errors in that quarter. In the fourth quarter, we just had momentum and dominated well and were just well settled. So in the end, uh, we ended up winning 60 to 40. It looked like an easy win, but it really wasn't. Um, until the fourth quarter. Uh, but the stats for that match is goal shooting. We were ninety one percent. They were thirty seven percent. Um, time possession. It was fifty fifty, uh, which is actually rather exciting. Uh, intercepts. Uh, there's eight each. Uh, rebounds. We got seven. They got three. Our uh, penalties. We got thirty eight. They got thirty eight. So a fairly even match. Turnovers. We got twenty four, and they got thirty five. Our last game of the round robin stages were against England. Um, it was definitely scrappy to begin with. Uh, I knew that England were good since they won the last Commonwealth game, so and we lost by like a penalty, so I knew that we sort of had something to prove. But we wanted to come out firing. Um, England got the first three goals, and that's when I sort of started to panic a little bit. Uh, but we finally got back and broke even. Uh, it was probably, definitely, definitely the most intense uh, match of the series so far. And pressure from both teams were good. Uh, but luckily we did end up getting the lead in the first quarter. 
the second quarter, English started strong again, but Australia fought back. Uh, momentum kept them changing. Uh, there was really good pressure from both sides. Like, we settled in some parts, but then we were unsettled again. And that's probably why uh, England sort of came back in into the match a bit more. Uh, in the third quarter, England started off strong again. Uh, but Australia, we had our ground. Um, but, um, yeah, it was definitely a, a tug of war, that game. It was, um, we were doing well, and then England's like, nah, nah, bitch, we're gonna do well. Um, whatever you can do, we can do. So, um, yeah, definitely, definitely good intensity. Uh, in the fourth quarter, even though Australia looked uh, more relaxed, uh, England kind of got more momentum. It kind of got even, and then after that, it went goal for goal. And, um, yeah, at the end of that match, it was 48 all. The stats for this match uh, were we had 84% for goal shootings. Uh, England had 89. Time possession was 50-50. I mean, it's kind of a given. Intercepts, we had 7, they had 2. Rebounds, we had 5, they had 3. Penalties, we had 44, they had 39. And turnovers, we had 29, they had 28. Uh, obviously, with only with England and us never losing a game, we met again the next day in... No, was it the next day or the day after? I forgot. But uh, we met again in the grand final. Uh, so, that was just like, you know... <laughs> I uh, had to learn those lessons quickly and get on, get ready for the next day and just keep on going. Um, so that was, it's never easy, but we definitely handled ourselves well and uh, definitely part of the girls. But in the final, in the first quarter, we were patient. We went to a good start. Uh, if you saw my previous video uh, about the cross series, I said that we had to get off to a good start. Otherwise, I feel like England would win this match, and we did. Uh, England put us under pressure. Uh, we were fighting it hard to get into our goal circle. Uh, England came back and tied it up. And uh, just England were England's defense was just too good. Australia just couldn't find space. Uh, we did start off behind in the at the end of the first quarter, which is always scary. Uh, I don't like being behind. I don't think anyone ever does like being behind in any break. Uh, it's sort of just like, mm, we have to win, <laughs> you know? Uh, in the second quarter, uh, Australia got the first turnover. England got one back. And they maintained their three-goal lead. Uh, but Australia finally put uh, England girls' circle under pressure. We still sort of like, uh, we were still behind in the end of the second quarter. In the third quarter, um... We can't. We finally sort of broke even. Australia was putting more pressure on England, and you, you saw that as just the game went on and on and on. Um, but yeah, we finally got into the lead. We got, and um, went, they went for goal for goal again, and we were behind by one in the end of the third quarter. Uh but in the fourth quarter, Australia something just clicked. Um, you saw uh, Gretel Beretta's interview, she's like, I don't know what happened, something just happened. The girls clicked just at the right moment and, you know, just Australia, just Australia were just reading the ball better. They're getting their hands on the ball more. Australia got, just took more opportunities. Um, that's just, there's no explanation as to how or why that happens in team sports. But uh, sometimes it's just like you just click and you just became, become more cohesive and, you know, just magic happens, honestly. That was very magical at the end. Uh, we got 58, England was 46, so it was definitely... The scoreboard uh, makes it look like we won a bit easily, but it was definitely such a grind and it was definitely such a scrappy match up until the fourth quarter where Australia just clicked and it all just came together and it was really nice to watch. So the stats for that match, uh, for goal shooting, we got 97%, close to perfect. 
England were 88 percent uh China possession we got 53 percent England were 47 percent intercepts uh it was three each rebounds we got five they got two penalties we got 53 they got 46 like it was a scrappy match um there was just penalties just everywhere um but yeah definitely entertaining to watch uh turnovers we got 17 they got 23 um yeah it was definitely just so satisfying watching it all click at the end or uh, just at the fourth quarter because we were like behind all the other breaks and when you sort of like behind for most of it like you scramble to come back and then you're behind again and then you have to scramble to come back and behind again sometimes it does sort of wear you down a bit but uh yeah it's just wonderful we are quad series champions um and it's just i don't know it makes me happy for sure i'm sure it makes a lot of you guys happy um but next week this weekend actually is the Melbourne vixens um was it pre-season matches against the thunderbirds they're playing in What's a place called Chirago? I don't know. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to figure it out. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'll be reviewing those matches. I'll be doing both at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for this week. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Uh, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I upload next. And I will see you next time. Bye.